this has just been so eye-opening. I really want to see you focusing on your technique and your tactics and your head game. Cool. Go on, Ben. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <what? sighs> so Ben's been working away at his training. Uh, things have been going fairly well. However, last couple of sessions, he's checked back in with me to report just a little bit of finger soreness. Now, really keen to get to the bottom of this and find out whether it's just a little bit of kind of standard post-training soreness or whether it's like a little bit more yeah. than that. So we, we're going to uh, just go up onto the walls and see how the land lies, eh? Yeah, well, we'll find out pretty quickly, I'm sure. Right then. Okay, so how does it feel? Not great. Um, it's it's still niggling me. It's been niggling me for the last kind of like week or two. I thought it'd go away, and it just really hasn't gone. Right. Okay. Look. On the positives, there's been no acute strain. There's no inflammation that I could see. Still likely to get it checked out by a physio for a second opinion. But I'm afraid, and I'm just going to have to tell this to you straight. The goal of 7B is off for this year. Right. <laughs> Look, um, it, it's just so much more important that you don't train on through a finger injury. You know, I've seen just countless examples of this going wrong for people. You know, you're, you're relatively new to all this. What is important is your like, long-term participation in climbing. And there's still some great things we can do. You know, for example, like if we just take a period of rest, do some rehab, just focus on easier climbing, your technique, you know, your cardio fitness, your flexibility, and then We'll see how the land lies after that, and I still think that 7A could be on. Like, you know, consenting adults at Malham. Yeah, sure. Still be a good challenge for you. You know, you, prior to this, what have you done? Like, you know, 6B plus to, yeah. to 7A? Yeah. That will still be, you, you know, looking at the positives, that will still be a great achievement. But I have to say, we, we cannot go for a fingery 7B at this critical stage. The crucial thing is we need to get you back, get through that pain, and get you, get you climbing well again. I feel for Ben here because I know how passionate you can get about, about goals in climbing, but this is a, an absolutely crucial point we've reached and we just have to err on the side of caution. I, mean, I must say, I had my concerns about the goal from the very start. It was extremely ambitious and even though he's had a training plan, it's just the nature of it. If you decide on too steep a curve in climbing, this is when things can start to go wrong. The important thing is that we've detected this in the nick of time and we can make those adjustments and we can, we can get him back on track. It's about discipline and listening to your body and being aware, making those little adjustments because you're putting a lot of strain through these finger tendons. It takes a lot of time to strengthen them up and you've just got to pick that. If it's that curve, then that's the one you've got to stick to in, instead of that one. We're still going to be good. We've still got some, uh, some good things to work on. And I'm gutted. Like genuinely, I, I, the, the goal of 7B has been what's been driving me this whole time, like keeping the training going up and everything like that. And just, it's just so frustrating. Because honestly, I've, I've been so focused on that for so long. And just to hear that Neil's right as well, which makes it so much harder to accept because he's bang on. To be fair, before now, I haven't even completed like 6B, 6A outdoor sport route. So to still get the 7A as a goal would still be awesome, but. Yeah, it's good. just to know that we can't go for 7B is pretty good. It really is. How are you feeling, Ben? Tired. I'm tired. I've been doing loads of running recently. Uh, it's all I've pretty much been able to do since um, obviously the finger's not been feeling too great. Um, it's October now um, as well, and you can see the weather's not particularly very nice. So uh, opportunities to get some back to Malham and do consent adults are really starting to get slim now. Um, so Neil and I are heading over next week, and fingers crossed we're going to do the route because otherwise we're really not going to get much chance. But uh, yeah, I've been doing loads of antagonistic work. 
doing loads of running, just trying to keep doing anything to keep the fitness up. But um, yeah, I'm really starting to get a bit nervous now, to be honest, because we're really running out of time and yeah, pressure's on, pressure's on. Right, uh, we are here at Malum on a very cold and windy day going for Consenting Adult 7A. So uh, yeah, project is right behind us and we're ready to go. So how we, do you think we're ready? Uh, well, I would say so. I'd say you've done your prep. Yeah, cool. Right, I guess we better get on with this end then. Right, I'm moving. Okay. Flipping, yep. Flipping. Go on, Ben. Go on. Nice. Go on. Yeah, nice on Ben. Ooh. Yeah, got ya. Oh my god. <sighs> All right. Oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Nice one. God. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Good oh. effort. It's not about competing with others. It's all about competing with your own head game and 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 just be overcoming your own challenges. Uh, and because the wall is the challenge, and your head is the challenge, and everything about it is just about trusting yourself and going that extra mile. It's just purely overcoming your own obstacles. After I do the ruse, I think I'm looking at the guidebook for the next route at Malham I'm going to be taking on. 